So I'm trying to figure something out. Recently, Hennessy, maker of ludicrously fast cars, announced their upcoming model, the Venom F5, which is expected to have a top speed of 290 miles per hour. So here's my question. Who's buying this car? I mean, I get it. There's always been an arms race among automakers for fastest top speed. And yes, the Venom F5 will be faster than its predecessor, the Venom GT, which only went 270 miles per hour. But hey, that's faster than Bugatti's Veyron Super Sport, which is comparably pokey at 268 miles per hour. But seriously, who in the universe needs a car that can go this fast? I mean, I'm not even talking about speed limits. These cars are faster than the cars in NASCAR and Formula One, and those are driven by professionals. With crazy speed comes even more craziness. Take that Bugatti, about which a ton of data has already been collected. At top speed, the Bugatti has a fuel economy of, count them, two miles per gallon. Let me put that in terms that are a little bit more practical. If you decide to go all out in the Bugatti with a full tank of gas, that tank will be empty in eight minutes. And it's not like you can reach these speeds on I-95. To get to its 270 miles per hour, Hennessy had to go borrow a landing strip from NASA. It was the only place long enough. All of this is lunacy, and what makes it even crazier is that it's theoretical lunacy. Do you really think anybody who buys one of these cars is going to take it to the limit? People who buy Buicks don't take them to the limit. This is bragging rights, pure and simple. This is mine is faster than yours. It's certainly not about money, because these people are as rich as Rockefeller. What exactly do they have to prove? 